Are we live? We're live! Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Susanna Kennedy and I'm super excited to be with you today because I'm going to be sharing with you a story that is going to hopefully really help you believe in miracles. So I know a lot of you think that miracles are only kept for the few people, the few lucky people. Um, but the reality is that all of us have the ability to call miracles into our lives. And I'm just seeing that there's people tuning in on Instagram and on Facebook. Hello, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, let me make sure my sound is down <laughs> on my iPad. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Um, so I'm telling you this story because I want you to realize that miracles are not reserved for the few lucky people who get to experience them. Miracles are something that you can actually create in your life. Now, what do I mean? What do I mean? What I mean is that if you are in a situation that you don't want to be in, you can change that situation. You have the ability to change that situation. In five steps, you have that ability to change that situation. Now, obviously I teach this really in depth in my courses and in my coaching programs, but I'm gonna try and just recap it for you today. And I'm also going to give you a really brilliant example of this in action. A lot of you know, and some of you don't know, that I almost died eight and a half, nine years ago. Yeah, it's that long ago now. I can't believe it, but it really is that long ago. I had something called systemic lupus, and I had it in every organ except my heart. And I was having near organ failure in almost all my organs. I was having seizures. I had liquid in my lungs and doctors saw little to no chance of me surviving. And then I went on a miraculous, and I have to call it a miraculous journey of healing. And I got into remission in five months. Now, I did go on an emergency course of um, chemotherapy and doctors thought at that stage, if I survived the first dose, um, then hopefully it would get me into remission in 18 to 24 months. I did survive the first dose. Sorry, I'm seeing my partner here wafting around in my room. I'm trying to figure out what he is looking for. Can I help you, baby? Not uh, I don't know where they are, sorry. Um, sorry about that, guys. You know, when you're vibing from home, these things happen. Um, so let me get back to my point. I, they said to me that it would take approximately 18 to 24 months to get me into remission of taking the chemotherapy. And, um, and I decided I needed to be in remission in five months and I made that my reality. Now I have been hundred percent in remission for eight years, but three weeks ago, I found out that my markers were up. You can imagine as a transformational coach, somebody who teaches this stuff, how challenging that was to receive this information that my markers were up after eight and a half years of being 100% in remission. And that was literally three and a half weeks ago. It's now four weeks because, um, yeah, it's four weeks now. And I didn't quite know how to take that because I was like, but I'm supposed to be this superhuman person who teaches people how to be superhuman people and all of this stuff. And I can't be not in remission. I have to be, you know, 100% healthy and healed because that's what I teach people to be in my life. And I thought, okay, get mad, get angry, allow yourself to feel everything that you need to feel, and then jump into your protocol, jump into the things that you need to do in order to get back into remission. And so 
I called to get a doctor's appointment and it was three weeks away. And I thought, oh. initially I was like, oh, I can't believe it. This doctor's appointment's three weeks away. Why can't I get a decent, you know, doctor's appointment? And then I thought, oh, I know why. It's because the universe is giving me the time that I need to get back into remission before I see her. So I was like, okay, thank you universe. Thank you for this time that you've created and this invitation that you've created to get me back into alignment. And so then I started my protocol and I started working on all the things that I know to work on to get me back into remission. I started looking at my diet. I started um, looking at my habits. Where had my habits gone to? I started looking at my self care. I started doing healing every single day on myself. I started going to the healers that I know that I work with and new healers because you never know who can help you. When something happens, you throw everything at it, right? And I really looked after my stress levels. I really looked after my heart and my emotions. And then I went to my specialist physician who, um, who I had helped me all those years ago. And I sat down and she, and I did the blood results two days before I saw her. And I held the vision in my mind that this was going to happen for me, that I would be in complete remission by the time I saw her. And I sat down and I said, so is everything okay? She said, yes. She said, you're hundred percent in remission. Why are you here? <laughs> and I was like, am I? She said, yeah, let's do a checkup. And I'm going to check every one of your, um, or like check everything, but yeah, everything looks fine. So she checked everything. She checked all my joints. She checked everything. And she sat down and she said, yeah, you're 100% in remission it's all good and she said why are you here so i said well because my markers were at 160 um three weeks ago and she was like what and i said yeah and she said well they're fine now but what happened like how did what happened that they were there so we ended up having a conversation and the point is that i went from not being in remission back into remission in three weeks if that is possible for me, it is possible for each and every one of you. And I'm telling you the story because I know that whether you are needing a miracle in your mind, because your mind has run bright and you're feeling depressed and you're not in control of your reality, or whether you are needing a miracle in your heart because you are brokenhearted and you don't know which way to turn or whether you're needing a miracle physically because you are ill or whether you're needing a miracle in your life because you're just your life doesn't make sense to you or whether you just know there is something more for you that you deserve something more and so there's this sense of emptiness in your life any of those I am telling you the story to remind you that it is possible. It's 100% possible for you to get back in alignment, for you to get into a space where you feel like you are your highest, most beautiful, most brilliant version of you. Is it going to be easy? No. I'm saying it as it is, guys. <laughs> I know everybody wants things to be like this, right? Everything must just be easy and simple. I mean, to be fair, I I like am in complete remission. It did take me three weeks, but I've been practicing these tools, right? So I knew how to pull them in. I knew how to draw myself back in. I knew what support systems I needed in order to get myself there. And on that note, I actually was messaging with um, somebody yesterday a, a lady and she said to me i'm in a horrible situation i married an awful man who doesn't care about me we live in a place that i hate i've got two children i suffer from depression i'm not allowed to work he won't let me work and i can't do anything about it like i'm stuck and i sent her a message back and i said the one thing 
that is true is that nobody can control what happens in your mind and nobody can do that nobody can take that away from you so if you are in a situation that seems helpless start start weeding out the thoughts pulling out the thoughts the beliefs that are keeping you stuck and start replacing them with thoughts that are more supportive so my invitation to you is take action do something about it you need to do something about it your situation whatever it is you need to, nobody else is going to save you only you can save you you are the only person who can save you and when somebody says i don't have any money i um i'm stuck i can't do anything i'm telling you you can do something i promise you you can do something if you are able to send me a message on the internet then that means you have access to internet there are free courses free resources you can watch all of my free resources all of my interviews all of the things that i've put up absolutely free that will inspire you to take action you can look at every single person that i've interviewed and start looking at all of their free resources i've brought them to you for a reason do something with it you can sign up and get like audible gives you a book for free if you sign up initially invest in a book that helps you with finances do that it doesn't have to be big it can be small but those small little incremental steps are what are going to move you from where you are now to where you want to be so i'm going to just quickly tell you you need to know what it's 5 w's what you want to change by when you want to change it why you want to change it very important who you need to support you on your journey to change and then i always say the wow the wow means that you believe in miracles you have to believe that change is possible and if you don't it will not be possible for you so those are my five things that i say to you and i am going to i'm thinking of creating a mini course on manifesting i don't know would you guys like that um if i created a mini course on manifesting would that be something that you guys would want um that takes you just into the those five steps in a bit more um it a bit more deep deeper um explanation yes 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 okay hearts fly, flying up all right so maybe i'll do that i'll create a mini course for you guys on the five steps that I use all the time um to manifest to shift things in my reality but I'm telling you this story because you can you are not listening to this by mistake right now you are listening to this because the universe has put me in front of your screen to remind you that miracles are possible that you can change your reality you have the ability to change your reality and step into being the most brilliant version of yourself that you can be my heart is like literally going like this pop 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 feeling all of you tuning in past present and future remember the time is just a construct of humanity um and so if you're listening to this whether it's a recording or live you're listening to it at the right time for your highest evolution it's an invitation the universe sometimes gives you an invitation like this which is gentle it's me showing up in front of you and saying hi sorry would you like to change would you like to experience yourself as being the most brilliant version of you that you can be that's one way the universe does it the other way is by hitting you over the head like it did with me 4 weeks ago almost now and said hello wake up do you remember who you are do you remember what you can do cuz i must be honest i'd kind of forgotten i mean i knew but i was feeling a little bit like a fraud cuz i was watching all my students get these amazing results and having this amazing time and i was like oh, i'm feeling demotivated 
I'm feeling, oh, am I, am I even giving value? Yeah, I was feeling like that. We all go through these phases. And then I was reminded, hello, Susanna, hello. And it was great. What a wonderful reminder. And now I'm here sitting as a living example to tell you guys what is possible. And I can see Kalineha is going, that is so true. And Franco is going, yes, I can. Yes, yes, yes. And Adrian is saying the power of belief and faith. Adrian and action and action. We can believe as much as we want. We can have faith as much as we want. But unless we take inspired action, nothing will change. So belief and faith, yes, and action, inspired action. I invite you guys to do that, all of you to do that. Please, please, I want you to be the best you can be. I want you to live the fullest, most beautiful lives that you can live. Does anybody have any questions? If you do, you're welcome to ask the questions at the bottom um, in the chat over here i can see and i can see you guys thank you so much hello um michael hello franco hello kalineha hello genius genius oh i like that um hello kangenwa is that your name kangenwa i hope i'm saying it correctly i'm sorry if i if i'm not um hello tom hello ikara hello pro -sibs. hello Shappy, what a cute name, Shappy. Hello, Pri. Hello, Bremen. Hello, Gugu. Oh, hello. I'm trying to get through all the names, but I, I, I'm not going to be able to get through all the names. Hello, Amar. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Shabat, Shabham. Shabham. I hope I'm saying that name wrong. Is right as well. Right, not wrong. Um, hello, Peter. Hello, Karen. I can't get through all of the names, but. I wanted to say thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for investing in yourselves. And I'm sending you so much love and light. And if you do need support, if you would like to get a coach, if you, if you do want to do one of my programs, please reach out. I would love to support you on your journey. Lots of love, lots of blessings to you all. And I will see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye for now. Thank you so much for watching the show today. I really, really appreciate it. I would love your support. So please do like, comment, share, save, tag all your friends below. It would mean the absolute world to me. And also leave me your comments. Your comments really give me great feedback as to what stood out for you as the most important thing, realization, aha moment, whatever it was, in this video as well as just giving me feedback on how you felt about the video any questions you have i want to hear from you i'm always interested i also want to say a very big thank you to my sponsors easy hair pro eccentric on clerk um, mish from clerk label m and sorbet wow what a mouthful all these beautiful sponsors thank you thank you thank you for always supporting me and making me feel and look fantastic See you guys soon. Bye.